Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Sergeant Alex here, bringing you a little twist on on uh, Minecraft. I'm actually building a base for a uh, server that I just actually didn't just join. Just joined you, but I've been on here for two, three weeks, working on building supplies up, figuring out the game plan and whatnot, and a couple little twists here and there. But it is uh, called Realmcraft. It is run by. Hang on a second. Uh, Boss22532. And I hope I am saying this right. And also it is run by, uh, I believe, Dritz. He's currently running the uh, Discord. Boss has some personal things to attend to at the time, so... It seems those two are in charge of the show, if you will. But so far I've had fun. There's a bunch of people on there. Not everybody's a YouTuber, as I find out who is... And I will definitely be linking him down below. But as you can see, I'm building a giant crafting table from that half. That half was me trying to figure it out, figure out my color schemes and whatnot. So we're going to go into that right now. On your crafting table, you have various lines, which I'm doing spruce, planks, and dark oak logs to kind of give a little color difference. Then strip spruce uh, logs that go up to the sections with oak on the side. And then for the tools... I'm using a combination of spruce and oak again, but for the old colors of like the hammer and the saw parts, I'm using uh, some dyed wool because right now at the time I'm not 100% set up. I have about two chests of just random stuff. I'm still setting up the base and everything, so every I'm just using what I have, some relatively beginning stuff that's easy to acquire. Sheep, so you can just quickly die, grab some, uh, kill some skeletons and some squids, and you can get some gray, gray wools. And then it's just, uh, waiting for the sheep to eat some grass, grow some wool, and you can go from there. But I believe it's just one layer of the spruce and dark oak, and then three layers of regular oak, and then rinse and repeat up to, uh, I have to see a wall, I believe it's four times. And then putting the tools in the correct spot, you can just look at a crafting table. Because this block, giant block is uh, pixel by pixel. And then the top there, I kind of cut in there. It is a little weird though. The top and the side don't exactly match up block for block. There's a dark section you'll see later on that I outline in trapdoors. Whereas on the side is just regular colored, if you will. What I have going on here. But a few of the blocks, they're, it's a dark outline on the top, so I had to make a little bit of a compromise there, and I did find a little bit of a way around it, but working with what we can actually do with blocks is the main role of this. And I want to start with the crafting table, that's one of the first things you always build. And the inside actually came out nice, I decorated that off camera, so in the next episode I'll be showing that. But I do have a few other things before I get to that. Um, the area around here, I'm pretty much by myself. Uh, one person did move over to me, some griefing issues. So I was like, eh, move in by me. I'm open by myself. And he's actually right off this island. And so I do have a little bit of a neighbor. But over the hill, there's actually a uh, pillager tower that I have almost everything I need to turn into a raid farm. And that's going to be giving me some fun resources and whatnot. Right next to me was also a village that actually was a zombie village. I don't know if anyone was there before me, but I couldn't find any zombies. But it's all broken down full of cobwebs, so I figured it'd be fun to flip that. And there's also a village relatively close by, but I'm not going to do anything with that village. I figure as I flip the other one, I can move villagers into that. And I am going to have to build a villager farm eventually. So... That's a thing. But that's pretty much it. This island here, I'm going to do giant blocks. I haven't decided next if I want to do a, something similar to a chest or a, one of the newer barrels. Or make a furnace that I can turn into a little smelter room. As you can see, basic setup here. The crafting table became my permanent house. And I plan on adding there, so there's going to be a, another block next to that or in the ground or merged into it a little bit. I haven't figured out the details. If you have any ideas, do comment them down below, but I figured it'd be fun just to do a block by block and fight little drowns and whatnot. So, 
I'm going to leave the rest of this episode pretty quiet. You can sit there and watch and see how the whole crafting table goes together, and I'll pop it back in towards the end so you can we can talk about the roof. But for now, I'm just going to let the video play, and I hope you enjoy the nice relaxing Minecraft music. Until the roof.
Okay, we are back, and you can sort of see in the corner there where I'm talking about the top top of part of that old what would be a block is uh, black bubble sides oak. So we have to figure something out. But so far, I'm going to start by placing three blocks in the corner. And oh, I'm going to I've already placed. Uh, this is what happens when you don't remember what you did a week ago on a video. Three blocks in the corner have already been placed, and now I'm just going to try and do the circle around as best I can. And I'm going to be using some sideways, I'm thinking sideways spruce, I believe I swapped that out for an, for planks. Yeah, I'm swapping it out for planks. Because that way you don't have to worry about the grain of the log or anything. Just some regular planks will match in nicely. So three are going into the corner right now to make a nice little diagonal. And then the uh, best I can do due to how the lines and everything do is I'm going to have to extend it and make it a little bit more circle, oval or circleish than diamond. Which is what it sort of looks like on the crafting table. A little square piece of leather stretched over and tacked down in the center of each swall. So you have to deal with what you what you can do. But popping that block there just kind of completes a circle off. And then I believe uh, polished granite makes up the little leathery, well, what looks to be leather. Has the same color in it, but sort of makes sense. Make a nice little smooth workstation. So, just going around adding that. And then we just have to do the uh, grid pattern with uh, the some uh, polished granite. And I can't remember which wood I used, but I used uh, one of the wood wooden plank varieties to just uh, outline the little grid there. So again, I'm just going to go silent and let past me do the building. So we'll see you more towards the end of the video. Thank you. 
just like that, the roof is done. Uh, some spruce planks just to kind of outline the grid there. And I didn't feel a commentary block by block was necessary for this. Um, your building materials are quick and easy to get. And I think the build came out looking nice. Maybe swap the wool for concrete down the line for a nice little smoother transition. And if you're not sure which block to place, just uh, look at our crafting table. And pretty much uh, little darker lines tend to be a dark color of wood, and the lighter ones are usually oak or spruce. The little trick for getting the black border, I kind of had the idea later on, was to use uh, trap doors. For here, I went with the, I want to say that's the dark oak ones. I actually don't remember off the top of my head. Spruce tends to look more like the medieval style, so I just went from log to log and went around being sure to stay in the same direction because I do show it off in a second that if you rotate it, it does look a little different. So just try to have them all the same orientation so the shadings and stuff aren't weird. You can see me being doing it painstakingly here, jumping to make sure each and every one is right. But if you enjoyed the video, please hit that like button. If you didn't hit the dislike button, make me cry. And comment down below what you would like to see next, if you have any ideas or whatnot. Or even if you just want to say hi. I always try to respond. I love reading comments. It's one of those little goofy things that's fun to do. But as you can see there, the orientate with the orientation, the shading's different. I just want them all pointing in the same direction. And hopefully we, you will see me in the next episode, which I believe I'm jumping over to the realm Rob and I have. My pers our personal realm. Because I am working on a wall in that one, so twice the survival action. And in between there are some other stuff sprinkled through. I believe with this video, an update video is coming, which might be a little dated. Some stuff between work and whatnot got in the way, so I think I did like, subscribe. Well, subscribe for new content, I didn't say that. Uh, follow me on Twitter, because I do post when I'm streaming, and I'm always streaming something a little different. And that is pretty much it. Information down low for anybody in Realmcraft that is involved. As I'm figuring it out, the list is going to develop and change. Because I'm not sure. We have a bunch of members, but I'm not sure who does YouTube, who does streaming and whatnot. So as I figure that stuff out, it's going to be down low for the Realmcraft videos. Other than that, this is Sergeant Alex, and I hope you have a nice day. In next episode, we'll be living in the giant crafty crafting block. So, until next time, bye-bye.